Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In a previous video, we discussed Windows Server 2025 Core S config options, and we learned how to join Windows Server Core to Domain. In this tutorial, I will show you step-by-step -step how to enable Remote Desktop on Windows Server 2025 Core, and thus you can remotely control the server by enabling RDP on Windows Server 2025 Core. You do not have to physically log into the server core with RDP enabled. Log in with the administrator account. And as you know, Windows Server Core does not have a graphical interface. So all configurations must be done through the command line or tools like PowerShell. After logging in and opening the sconfig window through which you can manage the server, it is a simple text interface in Windows Server 2025 Core that helps you perform common administrative tasks. On the server configuration screen, you'll find a list of options to manage the server core. Option seven on the list of choices lets you turn on or off remote desktop on Windows Server Core. Remote desktop feature is currently disabled on the server. Type number seven and press enter. The next line allows you to enable or disable remote desktop. Type E and press enter to enable remote desktop. You will be asked to select one of two options. The first option is allow only clients running remote desktop with network level authentication and is considered the most secure. The second is allow clients running any version of remote desktop and is the least secure option. I will definitely choose the most secure option, which is option number one. So enter the number one and press enter. Press enter again to return to the main server configuration screen. Thus, the remote desktop feature is currently enabled on the server core. You will see the option to enable remote desktop for more secure clients only. Now we have another important step, which is to enable the firewall to allow remote desktop on the server core. This configuration is required because the firewall on server core may block the RDP connections initiated from remote computer. We will need to use the command line to execute the command that will enable RDP connections through the firewall to open command prompt window, type 15, and press enter to open the command prompt. Write the command that appears in front of you on the screen. I will leave this command for you in the video description. This command will enable the RDP connections through the firewall on server core. After running above command, you'll see the output, updated three rules, which confirms that you have successfully enabled firewall on server core to allow RDP connections. We have another command to confirm the remote desktop settings. This command modifies the registry key responsible for enabling remote desktop connections directly, where the command changes the value from one to zero, because the value zero means that the remote desktop is enabled. I will leave you the command in the video description for easy access. After executing the command and updating the registry, type exit to exit and return to the main server configuration screen. The last thing is to find the server's IP address before going to another computer and using the remote desktop connection tool. Click on option number eight, which is network settings, and here you will find the server's IP address. Now that you have finished enabling, and setting up the remote desktop on this server, I will move to another computer to check the connection to it via the remote desktop connection tool. Click Win R to open the run dialog and enter MSTSC and click OK to open the remote desktop connection tool. Enter the server's IP address, then click connect and when prompted, enter the administrator username and password of the server and click OK. Once you are successfully connected, you will see the command line interface server core. Thus, you can manage the server remotely as if you were physically present in front of the device. Unlike GUI-based servers, server core provides a simple interface to improve performance and security. You can still use tools like PowerShell or install additional remote management tools as needed. Remote desktop is definitely an essential tool for IT administrators allowing you to easily manage your server without having to be physically present. This feature saves time, boosts productivity, and ensures that you can troubleshoot or configure your server from anywhere in the world. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and practical IT tips. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.